Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and I'm responding to the question, what machine do you edit on? Okay, we'll look at the physical systems in a second. Right now, I'm gonna go through uh, some of the places that are really important. So there, there are two systems that I use. Um, my demo system, and I'm, I'm you know, about 10 feet away from my working desk, um, and when I'm shooting here, I actually set up a separate table, and so I need a remote uh, laptop, which is the Dell Precision Mobile Workstation 7740. And there have been two updates uh, since then, and I'll have links in the description to all of this. But this is a 17 inch mobile workstation, and it has an NVIDIA Quadro RTX 5000 in it, which is the mobile version of what I have in the desktop. Uh, this particular system has a uh, Core i7, 2.6 gigahertz. I got 64 gigs of RAM. You can put eight terabytes of storage in this, in SSD M.2s. Right now I've got two terabytes, one M.2 that it ships with, um, with, with my OS and applications, and then a second one with all of my media files and, and the uh, disk cache and media cache uh, with Premiere Pro. The cool thing about this, the uh, second M.2 is, you don't have to, you know, <laughs> unhook and, un it, you just literally flip it over. There's a small area you can drop things in. It's so easy to get your M.2 in there and uh, boot up and uh, format it and you're ready to go. So that's all of the demo speed that you see is coming from that M.2, um, which is, and then there's two other places and they can be two terabytes each. It's huge. Um, the second system is a Dell Precision 3640 tower. It's kind of like a mini tower and it's running Xeon at 3.8 uh, gigahertz also has 64 gigs of RAM, and this has the desktop version of the uh, NVIDIA, NVIDIA Quadro RTX 5000. If you're not familiar with that card, it's a beast. It is unbelievable. And the great thing is, I use so much software that's GPU accelerated that I benefit from this. And the biggest benefit recently with Adobe software is, uh, the decoding and encoding of certain formats. What the heck is that? Well, when you play back video formats like H.264 that DSLRs shoot and tons of cameras, they're highly compressed. You can't view them without uh, decoding it. So the software has to look at at one frame, another frame, and then it makes all the, the interim frames like the in-betweens based on a lot of other math and, and uh, it, it decompresses it and then it plays it back. And then encoding is actually making the file, which, hey, we're here on YouTube. We all have to encode these files to H.264. And if that's accelerated, then it's even faster. And if you put an RTX 5000 behind it, your encoding is so fast, it's so funny at how quickly the encoding happens. So that's what I enjoy on both of these systems. Now, I want to show you specifically in, in uh, Premiere Pro, in Photoshop, in Illustrator, and of course, many other Adobe applications like After, After Effects take advantage of that. But in Premiere Pro, in the File menu, Project Settings, General, you'll see um, different choices here. I happen to also have OpenCL on this system and software only, but the default is to use CUDA, which is the GPU acceleration language that the uh, NVIDIA cards use. And Adobe writes their software to take advantage of that. And if you want to see in the effects, if you just open up the effects and click on this button here, you'll see how much is accelerated. Now, some of these, are presets, so I'll just close up the, the uh, presets. But look at how many effects are GPU accelerated, and more and more are being added all the time. That's the great thing about the commitment between Adobe and NVIDIA is 
Adobe keeps writing, because they have to write this, they have to rewrite software uh, and effects to make them run on, on software, on the CPU, but also on the GPU. And the amount of speed that we're seeing increase is just over and over again. Let's have a look over at, uh, at Photoshop. In the edit menu on Windows, in the Photoshop menu on the Mac, and you go to the preferences, performance, and you can see it's using the RTX 5000 uh, Quadro by default. And some of the, the things that you can do with it, uh, for instance, one effect that is GPU only is something called oil paint. And it's so ridiculously fast on an RTX 5000. I mean, you can just click and move and this stuff is moving in near real time click OK, and it's done. It's that fast. So not only is this, it, this isn't just slower on a CPU, it's not even available on a CP, CPU. You have to have a powerful enough uh, GPU or even have a GPU at all. Now let's look at Illustrator. Now I've got two Illustrator vector artwork documents open, and I'll put a link in the description for Brian's work Amazing. I saw his stuff and I reached out because I wanted the heaviest vector artwork I could get to really tax the GPU and CPU and see what happens. So if you're not familiar with vector artwork, it's made of shapes. It's not made of pixels. And those shapes have to be calculated by the computer. And when you calculate them on a GPU with thousands of cores, the difference is amazing. In the view menu, there's an option to view in CPU or GPU. Now let's just turn on CPU. And if I try to, if I try to zoom in here, you'll notice that I can't use an animated zoom and it's going to take a moment to zoom. So I have already zoomed and it took that long to zoom in because of the calculations. Let me zoom out. You want to see what is being calculated? I'm going to turn on outline mode and show you. That's how many things are being <laughs> calculated. Every single one of, not just the artwork like the leaves, but these long lines over top. Brian uses to shade this, something that you would normally do with an airbrush in Photoshop, like these light rays. All of that has to be um, calculated. So let's turn on GPU and I've got my same, um, Zoom tool, watch this. A little bit faster, huh? Yeah, let's go look at the other artwork from Brian. Look at this, look at this. I mean, that is a freaking enormous amount of information. And when we zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, almost in real time, we're able to see that kind of detail because I've got a GPU. I'll show you where that is. Again, in the edit menu on Windows, the Illustrator menu on the Mac, preferences, performance, and you can see the GPU and I've got animated zoom turned on. It's just amazing. Photoshop's Camera Raw can also use the GPU uh, for image processing. It is amazing. And the software, I mean, I'm just showing you a few, but NVIDIA has partnered with a ton of people to make this stuff so fast that the default is just to have it on, like, like Premiere Pro is the default to use my RTX uh, or really any NVIDIA card that's got uh, two gigs of RAM or more, but my RTX 5000 just loves that. But Tons of different companies are, are using that. I love the fact that Dell uh, makes this kind of an option because I don't care about a laptop being a surfing laptop that will surf for 12 hours. That's not important to me. This thing never is unplugged because I want power and I'm using this for powerful things. That's why I got a 17 inch um, 7740. I wanted a big, beefy, powerful system. Now let's go look at the hardware itself. We'll go to each side and look at the ports. We're starting on the left-hand side. There's a smart card reader, special cards that can give you access to the computer. 
SD card reader, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, lots of ventilation. This thing is powerful. Power port, more ventilation, and a USB 3.1 generation one with power share and an ethernet port, great for streaming. Mini display port and a full HDMI port. More ventilation. A security port, even more ventilation and two more USB 3 ports and a wonderful headphone jack. Nice big keyboard with a number pad, three button touch pad, and a little nib there. Ultra HD 4K screen, very bright. Uh, Windows Hello camera. And now let's look at the Precision 3640. As with anything this powerful, you need lots of ventilation. And this is their tower, but it's, it's a little bit more compact than a, a regular tower. So starting at the top, display port in case you don't have any other um, cards, and some PS2 ports, two USB 2 ports, and an ethernet port, a whole bunch of USB 3 ports, audio out, and that's the NVIDIA Quadro RTX 5000 card, lots of ports there. And I also have an optional Thunderbolt 3 card uh, at the bottom. And back to the front, it's not just a pretty face. Let's have a look at the ports they make on the front. Some easy access USB 3 ports. Again, these are uh, 3.1 generation one with power share and there's a USB-C port and an SD card reader, headphone jack and an optional Blu-ray drive. Now to get into it, it's, uh, it's fairly simple. You just unlock these two latches and move this latch and then you just take that side right off. You get full access to everything inside. You see the full RTX 5000 card and if you open the other part up, now you can get to the RAM. Uh, amazing cooling system. This thing is whisper quiet and lots of room down to the bottom for two uh, drive bays, big enough for three and a half inch drives. It comes with an M.2 card for the C drive. And I've also added a, another uh, two terabyte M.2 SSD drive. There's another drive space there for um, plugging in another three and a half inch drive, but I actually have two, two and a half inch SSD drives in that one space. So those are my editing systems, both uh, mobile and desktop, smoking fast Dell workstations, really does make a difference. And they're both powered by NVIDIA Quadro RTX cards, which is such a great marriage between CPU and GPU. That's why I love it. You know, between things like Adobe software and Maxon Cinema 4D, I can count on uh, being able to, to iterate multiple versions as many times as I can and not have to worry about things. Do I have a, enough uh, video RAM? Do I have enough cores? Do I have enough power? I just edit and everything just keeps going. And that's what I really love about a system based on Dell is it's predictable, it's reliable. Uh, I know that it, Dell's gonna be around with great support and um, NVIDIA is gonna have great support, new drivers, and I'm not gonna have the rug pulled out from underneath my feet with a chip change or a card gone or they don't make this. You know what? I'm at home here, it works, I love it. and and. It, it, I have no worries. I love it. I made the switch 10 years ago to a Windows world and uh, I don't regret one second of it. I love the choice. I love having what I want. I love the wild, wild west of I can do anything I want without any restrictions. You might ask, well, do you know what, what Apple? Hey, I was the biggest Mac fanboy forever since the 80s. I met Steve Jobs. I met uh, Steve Wozniak. I, I, I read every book on Steve Jobs, and uh, that's the old me. I like having choice. The one thing that, that I'd suggest if, if you are someone looking to move to Windows, you have to, 
have to, have to, have to give yourself three months of day-to-day -day work. That's what it took for me. I mean, we're talking about 20 years of, of uh, you know, muscle memory. It takes at least three months for you to realize, and it was for me in the middle of, I was working on some of my own music, mixing and, and uh, recording, and I thought, I'm not on Mac, I'm on Windows. Three months, and then it made no difference, and I just moved on. So you have to, anything I think, any kind of change, uh, any kind of software, hardware change, you need three months of day-to-day -day use before it's not an issue anymore. So I love the reliability of it. There's the, the question answered to a lot of folks out there. What do I use to edit my show? And it's all about Dell and NVIDIA RTX cards. It, uh, I love it. it, makes all the difference in the world.